Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we have what do your angels want you to know? We have group number one, group number two, group number three and group number four. We also have underneath the deck your situation will improve. Okay guys, so if you are watching this video, your situation will improve and things will come out really, really good for you. Okay guys, so let's get started with today's pick a card. So starting off with group number one. Hello group number one, let's get started with your reading. So we have from the angel message we have a year from now so this is funny because this is basically we are just starting 2020 so i absolutely love that the next message we have is citrine unnecessary worries release the burden of worries by giving them to god for healing and solutions we also have confidence self-confidence opens you to the energy required to carry you through each day at your very best we also have frog Stepping into your power, don't take a back seat in your story, it's time to step up, okay? So we also have the Seven of Swords, Page of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, you guys cannot see that one. <laughs> right, so you guys, so we have the Seven of Swords to start off with. So you guys may have been feeling like you are in, I'm hearing in the dust, you're feeling like you're very much confused about where you're going you're thinking okay why is everything not working out why are things very confusing I do feel like the crow is very very like it's a really good omen for you so if you're seeing the crow it means you're releasing a lot of old past energy so that's actually a really good sign guys okay that's actually a really good thing and it's basically having the confidence to know that things will change and things will happen okay I love the fact we've got the citrine unnecessary worries because citrine is always like I call it my happy crystal I feel it's really really energizing I actually have it in my little arm band when I'm on my run um I, I do running <laughs> so I always have a little bit of citrine with me because it's really really good for giving you energy and it makes you happy because it's a yellow crystal it's a solar plexus it's all about your confidence your self-esteem your basically anxiety can come up when this is kind of out of balance with your solar plexus so what could be happening right what could be happening right now is that you could be feeling quite anxious you could be feeling quite worried about what things are going to happen and just to let you know guys everything is going to be totally fine okay I love the fact we have unnecessary worries because it's basically just releasing these worries and know that it's going to be okay all right and it's stepping back into your power knowing that things will change and it's going to be a really really good change and if you're feeling like things you're just feeling very low you're like I don't have the confidence what am I going to do what if somebody I don't know asked me to do something and I can't do it you know all that sort of thing all those worries that possibly that may not even happen or might and um, actually probably won't happen you know and we think about these things when actually they might not actually happen so a year from now you are going to feel completely different this could actually mean that actually this energy was actually from 2019 actually actually <laughs> that this was energy was from 2019 and it's actually coming into 2020 now so this could be actually now you know this could be now but if it doesn't resonate for you now this could be a year from now that you're going to feel so 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 different okay and I love the fact we've got the world here it's really really gorgeous and there's these four lovely angels around it with these two angels at the top you're possibly going to be meeting somebody through travel and it's going to really really help you with your confidence I also feel like for you guys if you want to travel you will have the opportunity to do so if that's what you want to do I do feel like the omen of the dove the crow raven or frog is going to be a really really good omen for you so look out for those and knowing that you do actually have the confidence you may not feel like you do have the confidence but you do very much have the confidence and the angels want to know what well, angels want to know the angels want you to know that things will get better okay we also have the seven of swords with the knight of pentacles and the page of pentacles this is basically showing me that things are moving but they're moving quite slowly so you may not, may not actually think that things are moving but things will move okay and I also got my little angel dish, so we're going to pull out some little charms and numbers as well to see what is going on for you with this situation. We also have the page of pentacles here, and it's basically showing me that you're coming into your power and you're becoming more of a spiritual being. You're becoming more aware of spirituality and you're possibly investing in crystals and tarot and oracle cards. And you're becoming more of almost like a yogi where you want to do more yoga more. You're becoming more aware of different spiritual elements that you can kind of use with your practice I also feel like a lot of you it's going to be really good for you to meditate if you don't already or you have been kind of say slacking or you haven't really been doing meditation I think that's going to be really really good I do also see a male figure if you are looking for a man uh, especially in a romantic relationship this could also be somebody who's going to help you with your career 
and in your love life as well. So if you are single and you're looking for love, it doesn't have to be a male, but that's kind of what is showing me. Here I'm feeling a masculine energy. Um, I am seeing that you possibly will be finding somebody who's going to help you with your career as well as, I feel like it's nice because this is definitely like a confidence and it's kind of linked to work as well. So I do feel like you could be feeling a little bit lacking confidence through your finances, but that will improve, okay guys? And you will come on top. I do feel like you are learning you are learning and you're a student right now. So it's almost not physically, I mean, maybe you are a student, maybe you're in college or school. But I do feel like because you're a student and you're learning, it's almost like you've got to be in that student energy to kind of accept where you're going and to know that it's okay to learn from other people and it's okay to basically be on the other end of learning. You know, you're not, you don't, you're not always a teacher all the time. It's, it's good to actually, if you do make a mistake, which I don't think you will, but if you do... You know, it's all about learning, guys. It's all about learning and then, and you're allowed to be in that seat where you are actually receiving the messages and you're receiving that energy rather than actually physically giving out that energy because we all need to learn at some point, you know, guys. We all are beginners at some point, you know. So that's basically how it goes. So I'm going to pull you a couple of charms. We're going to see what is coming in for you in terms of charms. Oh, let's take that out. I'm going to pull you a dice as well and see. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. Okay. Oh my God, we've got an angel. Oh my God, I love that. That is so cute. Okay. So we have... Oops, that's great, isn't it? <laughs> Just drop it all over the place. Okay, so we have a tiny little angel. We have a little hand, which is all about spirituality. We have a little marble. And we also have the number four. So this is basically showing me you guys are basically coming into stability. You're coming into a place where you feel much more stable. And there is definitely a partnership on the way with this tune right next to it. And with this marble, this is kind of relating to the world, which we had here. And it's basically showing me that you have the world in your hands and you can travel. And when you have the finances or if you have the finances now, just frigging go for it. Just go for it. So basically, this is basically reiterating what I just said, is that you're, you are learning to become more of a spiritual being. You're learning to co-create with spirit. You're learning to be more of a spiritual being rather than obviously a spirit in a human body. You're, you're learning to know that we're all connected, that things will happen at their own time. And it's, it's OK. It's OK to feel worried, you know, like that's fine. You just got to know that it's going to be OK. And the more you go into your spiritual practice and trust that things are going to work out. I know obviously easier said than done, but trust that things are going to work out and the angels are with you right here, especially with this gorgeous little angel. Oh my God, I'm just so excited. We've got the angel charm. I'm just so happy. Right, guys, I'm also going to pull you some letters. See what letters want to come up. Okay, we've got L and T. So if any of that resonates with you guys, then we're going to see if anything else wants to come out. Okay. So these are your letters for this message. I really hope this resonates with you guys and get started. <laughs> you can do it guys, you can do it. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up, subscribe. If you would like a private reading, all my information is down below. I love, love, love you and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello group number two. Let's see what's going on for you guys for your angel messages. So let's see. Let's see what we have. We have listen to your intuition turquoise spirit path your true beliefs are becoming clearer to you which prompts you to make necessary life changes we also have the rabbit sensitive soul strengthen your boundaries and cut cords we also have love oh i love that love a steadfast embrace of the heart flows through and from you at all times for all time we then have oh my god we had the ten of cups that is so cute we have the ten of cups Two of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Wow, guys. This is absolutely amazing. This is so, so positive. This feels really, really good. Okay, so I'm really excited for this group. This is going to be really good vibes. So for you guys, you have so much goodness coming towards you, okay? So if you're worried about a certain situation, listen to your intuition. Calm your mind. Meditate. Just be with yourself and just ask yourself what do I need to know what is it that needs to come through for me is there anything that I need to do what they're basically telling me is to 
know that your true beliefs are coming clearer to you. So if you're feeling a little bit stuck, just know that this possibly may not be the right time to actually act and it's going to be okay. I do feel like if you're looking for love, you're definitely going to get it. Okay, if you're looking in terms of like a partner, um, obviously we've all got love around us anyway. Um, but if you're looking for love specifically, if you're single, there's definitely somebody who's going to come in possibly from a faraway place, from another country possibly, from a different state. Um, they're basically going to be very, very invested in you. Okay, it's also, I think there's two women here as well. So it could be um, obviously the same sex it could be a same-sex partnership or this could be a, a friendship, specifically a female-female friendship. Basically like a girlfriend, you know. And I do feel like you guys are really going to be connecting with a friend especially, okay. What the angels want you to know is that you're a very sensitive soul and that's okay. That's your superpower, guys, okay. That's actually a really, really good thing, honestly. And that really resonates with me. I just got shivers all over my body because that really, really resonates with me, okay. Being a sensitive soul is not the most easiest thing, I'm not going to lie to you, but we have this gorgeous card here that's basically saying to strengthen your boundaries and cut cords. So if there's anybody around you that doesn't suit you, or if there's anybody who you need to basically cut the cord with, or if you don't want to cut them off, just strengthen your boundaries and just say, look, this is what I want, this is what I'm going to do, if you're going to be, if you're going to be in my life, this is what I expect from you, you know? And it's basically just enabling that love for yourself and loving yourself enough to give yourself that boundary and give yourself that time and energy to give to that other person and say, hey, look, this is what I want. And also in return, it's given to you because you're actually putting down your boundaries and you're letting people understand where you stand you know and then that will help the relationship you have with your friends your family your work colleagues be much more balanced okay with this love card this is showing me that there is going to be love coming in this could be a friendship this could be work this could be a, a, like a job that you really like this could be um, a new family member so one of your uh, family members could be having a baby you could be having a baby it could also mean that you are going to be advancing in your relationship. If you are already in a partnership, I do see this advancing. I do see this being really, really good. And I see you wanting to travel and wanting something new. So if you guys are possibly moving away from old old relationships, old friendships, that sort of thing, then I do see that you possibly are going to find your passion without that person, okay? And then possibly finding a passion with someone new. For a lot of you, you have been single for a long time and you're now going to find your partner and it's going to actually create this massive amount of gorgeous solar plexus energy. It's going to make you feel really, really happy with yourself. I freaking love this card. I think she's so, like, look how empowered and happy she is. She's just, like, living her best life. I love it so much. So I definitely feel like you guys are really going to be kind of creating that gorgeous energy of happiness, basically. I really do feel that. For you guys I really do feel that <clears throat> excuse me I do feel like this rainbow is really coming in like very strongly so if look out for rainbows and things like that and it's basically you guys are realizing what your spiritual path is and you're possibly going more down onto your spiritual path okay so if you are looking for love if you're looking for your new life path if you're looking for a new job this is definitely the group okay and if you're looking to travel I definitely see that you are looking for some with something new a new place you could also be moving house I do see that you want to move house as well even if it doesn't happen this year I do see that it may happen in the future and you are possibly I do feel like this card has given me house hunting vibes you may actually want to move into a new house or you're looking at new houses or you are looking for possibly a van to move into you may want to move in a van because obviously you may want not want to have a mortgage and things like that you may want to have feel, you may want to feel more free okay I do feel like having pink around you is really going to help you as well that's really going to help you boost up your love vibe okay so let's choose some charms for you let's see what charms want to come through okay oh wow we've got three dice okay so we've got six four and one which is 11 which is basically two which is partnership and it's also balance okay it's balancing yourself it's also creating that love for yourself as well so we have the owl which is basically saying that you are very wise you have a lot of experience so use that to your advantage guys we also have the hand which is all about spirituality it's all about embracing your spiritual side and not letting anyone almost crush you crush you crush your dreams 
We also have the butterfly, which is transformation, which is absolutely amazing. It's all about becoming the real you, being authentic. We have the little money pendant, which is all about your finances, um, discovering a lot of money coming in towards you. Sorry, guys, just hit the microphone. Uh, money coming in towards you. I do feel like there's going to be a new opportunity <clears throat> in money and possibly going to be a phone call because I just I keep coughing whenever I say something specific. And also we have the little shell, which is all about the water signs. You could be connecting with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And I really do feel like that's coming through really, really nicely for you. So let's have a look and see what other letters want to come through. Okay, what have we got here? We have you. Okay, so you could be from the UK. Or wanting to go to the UK. We have H. Y. G and Z. So if any of those resonate with you guys, if you're from any of these countries, possibly like Holland or Germany, um, New Zealand maybe, I don't know, that's a bit of a stretch, but <laughs> um, if you guys resonate with this reading, I really hope you do. If you do, then please comment down below and let me know. If you like this video, please don't, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up, subscribe if you would like to subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being here and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number three. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what the angels want you to know. So we have not the right time. We also have from the crystal angel cards, which is quite a few in this group. So we have diamond, value your self-worth. Let me put this guy up here. Got to make sure I've got enough room. Value your self-worth, multifaceted. There are many layers and dimensions to the situation or person you're asking about. Ready to love again. You're healed from the past, enough to open your heart to new love. Progress, not perfection. Don't compare yourself to others or judge yourself. Instead, focus upon how far you've come and all that you've learned. We also have aura. A healthy aura keeps your energy in balance and harmony. We then have the starfish, intuition, listen to your soul's truth, think less, feel more. We also have chameleon, soul tribe, it is safe to be seen. From the tarot, we then have the knight of wands, the sun, oh I love that, that is so pretty. Fool, the hierophant, and the five of pentacles. Okay, so you guys have a lot of cards. So I'm going to start off with the tarot first and then we're going to kind of look into it as a whole. So I do feel like for you guys, you're really embracing yourself. And I, I love this group. This is absolutely amazing, guys. Honestly, I feel such positivity from this group. You guys have been through the ringer. Holy crap. You have been through so much stuff. Okay, so why is this not the right time? Okay, so basically you feel like you need to act on something, but it's not the right time. OK, there are many layers to the situation you're asking about. And basically what it's what it's saying is you're going into 2020 with a new spark, a new joy, a new lease of life. And you may feel like things are in the dark. You don't know what's going on. You may feel like, oh, nothing's going to change for me in 2020. Nothing's going to happen. Obviously, this reading is timeless. So if you are watching this after 2020, that's totally fine. But I do feel like for you guys... It's really, really important for you to put up your boundaries if you feel like that's the most, if you feel like, if you, okay, words, Vicky, if you feel like that's the best thing for you to do. I really think music is going to be really, really good for you guys. And it's really, really important for you to just completely and utterly express yourself. Just be who you are. I know it's easier said than done, but it's really, really important because you're starting a new start and it's really important for you to just be yourself. And the more you are yourself and the more you're just the most authentic self, the more this new start is going to come in and it's going to be a solid start. It's going to be a start where there's going to be people coming in who's going to love you so much, who's going to be there for a long, 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 long time, even for your lifetime. And you may be worried that this isn't going to work out. You may be worried that things aren't going to change, that things aren't going to be different, but they will, okay? They will be different and you are going to be on a new path, okay, guys? You could be meeting a fire sign. You could be meeting a earth sign. I'm also getting water here as well, so... Uh, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancerian, uh, Aries, Leo, Sag, and Virgo, Capricorn, oh my god, I've forgotten the other earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, there we go. <laughs> okay, so let's move these cards over here, 
put these guys over here. So, in terms of your... I, th I feel like you're being very hard on yourself, guys. I feel like you're being very, very hard on yourself. You guys are waiting for this new start and you're like, when is it? When is it coming? Where is this new person? Where is this new friendship that I really, really want? When is this all going to come in, okay? What's going to happen for you guys is your intuition is going to tell you when it's the right time. I know that's not really what, probably what you want to hear, <laughs> but your intuition will tell you it's the right time and you're ready to love again. If you are feeling very stuck, if you're feeling like things aren't going to change, if you're feeling like you're going to be let down, which you're not, you're not going to be let down as long as you have your boundaries up, as long as you say yes when you mean yes and no when you mean no, and you are true to yourself and how you actually feel, then you guys are going to be absolutely fine, okay? You are ready to jump into a new soul tribe you're ready to meet new people and you are going to be possibly if you are single you are going to be finding a new partner okay if that's if that's what you want if that's not what you want then that's totally fine no worries okay this is a general reading it'll resonate for some of you and not for others so in terms of your intuition it's really really important for you to meditate for you to be calm to have to have space a space of calm for yourself in in the day even if it's just for two minutes, one minute, five minutes, I started meditating on one minute. You know, guys, I was very, 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 sh I just had a short attention span. Okay, so I can literally only meditate for five minutes, no, one minute at a time. And then I built up to two minutes, and then I built up to three, and then four, and then five. So I do feel like it's important for you to just start with your spiritual practice. And if you, if you have it already, just keep going, just keep focusing on yourself and know that things are going to be okay. And I love that this card always makes me feel really happy. These two cards are like my favourite because I love the fact that the, basically the angels are saying that it's okay. You're ready to love. If you feel like you're ready to love, you are. You've healed from the past enough to open your heart to new love, okay? And this one is my favourite because I'm always so hard on myself. And it says, don't compare yourself to others or judge yourself. Instead, focus upon how far you've come and all that you've learned. Isn't that just, that's just it. That's amazing. There's also quite a few layers to this uh, situational person that this, you're basically possibly querying about. So if this is to do with a certain person, just value your self-worth and focus on yourself, okay? And if this person is ready to come in, they will. And if they're ready to leave, then they will, you know, and that's okay. If they leave, they're not the right person for you. And if they stay, they definitely are, okay? So guys, I do feel like it's really important for you to be seen. It's really important to acknowledge that you want to be seen, Okay. And you want to have that space to be seen. I want you to tell. I want you to say this to your angels, the universe, whoever you believe in. I want you to say, "I'm ready to be seen. I'm ready for my blessings to come in. I'm ready for flow. I'm ready for happiness. I'm ready for love. I'm ready for joy. And I am ready to step into my power." and into my soul's purpose okay that's just what I kind of got intuitively so and if you repeated that after me then amazing if you didn't that's totally fine you can write it down you can say it in your head you know what you do whatever you want so you do whatever you want girl okay so we have the number three that's all about creativity all about your soul's purpose Okay, so we have the little hand, which is handmade. So you may want to be starting your own handmade business. You may want to be helping other people out, charity work, that sort of thing. We have the Eiffel Tower, which is all about travel. It's all about starting something new. And we also have the wheel, which is basically all about um, the times are turning. You're going into onto a new path. And we have Monday, and this is obviously the start of the week. So it's going to be the start of a new change for you, starting fresh, starting new. We have the little grenade, which is all about things basically blowing up. <laughs> Not literally, but things emotionally kind of being like, whoa, opening, like epiphanies, new things starting, really awakening your true self. We have this green little rose, which is showing me it's all about getting out in nature, making sure you are um, being around nature and really being in that energy. And we have the little tortoise. Slow and steady wounds of race. This could also be a turtle which could be your uh, omen, which is really coming up for me at the moment, guys. This could also be representing a water sign, a Scorpio, Cancerian or Pisces, okay? So let's see what uh, letters we have today. Let's pick a couple more. Okay. We have you, I, so it could be a relationship, you and I. It could be a friendship. 
we have C, we have J, Y, H and D. So we have DIY here, which is basically, as I say, could, you could be making something. We have hi, and we also have, is there anything else? Uh, if you guys can see anything else, let me know. I'm just gonna pull, oh, sorry guys, just touch the microphone. K and S. Possibly kiss. Um, I don't really see any other letters or anything else. Any other words? Mm, I think that's it, guys. So, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up. Comment down below, subscribe, and I'll speak to you very soon. Much love to you. Oh, also, I have my private readings down below if you're interested. Okay, guys? Thank you so much for watching. I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye. Hello, group number four. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what your angels want you to know. So, we have... It's up to you. That card always annoys me. It's like, no, tell me what to do. <laughs> we also have calcite, busy times and multitasking. We then have the antelope, new paths. Consider whether you are happy on your current path. We also have the fox, shadow work. There are no shadows without light. We then have courage. Courage is a strength to stand up when it's easier to fall down. We then have the King of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Chariot, Strength, Devil, Temperance, Judgment, and the Nine of Wands. Wow, you guys have got a lot of tarot. Oh, okay, it's got a massive ring in my ears. So if any of you guys are wondering if there's an ancestor around you, there definitely is. Okay, so I do feel like for some of you guys, you could be connecting with a Earth sign or a fire sign specifically leo also a cancerian we've got here a capricorn and that's kind of all i'm really feeling right now possibly an aquarius as well so for you guys you're basically looking for your life path okay you're searching for where to go and what they're telling me for you to do is to have strength and to work through your shadow side okay if you're curious about what you want to do as a life purpose for some of you guys, it could be counselling, it could be working through other people's shadows, it could be helping other people with their shadows, it could be actually physically doing shadow work with other people, you could want to do a shadow work therapy session with someone, and kind of looking into what is really kind of going up for you, as in like what is what needs to come up, you know. I really do feel like a lot of you have aspirations, and some of the aspirations could be to do dancing, it could be acting, it could be singing. I do like feel like for some of you guys, this is really kind of, I'm seeing this girl as almost like a ballerina and it's almost like she's kind of wanting, that's who she naturally is. She's naturally like a dancer, she's naturally expressive and she's kind of looking up and she's kind of releasing that to the, to the universe. And it's like, look, look, this is, this is what I want to be, this is who I am. So I really do feel like this is for a lot of you guys. Well, it's got massive tingles. It's having the strength to actually go forward into that work that you want to do. Obviously, if you're not sure on your life path, that's totally fine. You are currently going to be going on a new path anyway. So guys, if you don't know where you're going, the universe will show you where you're going and it's going to be OK. And basically not to worry about anything. And it's yeah, you guys are on a really good path. OK, um, you guys are going to be very busy with this new path that you're going on. And if you've already worked through your shadow work and you've already kind of done the work, then I definitely feel like you guys are going to need the courage to kind of go forward. If you don't have the courage, you will have it and you are going to go onto your new path if you want it. If you want it, you can have it. Okay, that's basically what I'm saying. If you want it, you can definitely have it. And with this busy time, it's definitely showing me that you are going to be very, very busy. I feel like things could possibly be very slow. You possibly could be unemployed, could be between jobs, could be at school, could be just wanting a new start. And basically it's up to you where you want to go, okay? I'm not, this group isn't directly telling me exactly what it is. I mean, I've got singing, dancing and that sort of thing. But if that's not really what you want to do, what's really important for you guys is to, if there's any shadow work, possibly have a look and see, okay, is there anything that I wanted to do as a child? Is there anything that I haven't fully expressed? You know, all those sort of things. And I know that can't, it's not the easiest thing to do, guys, so don't worry about it, Okay. 
And don't be too hard on yourself because you are balancing out two very strong parts of you at the moment. You're balancing out your soul, your drive, your passion. You're also, we're also all dealing with our emotions as well. And you're basically got this kind of like cycle that keeps going round and round, but you're learning to balance those two out. You're learning to balance, okay, what do I actually really want to do on an emotional level? And also what's going to make me happy? And you're really looking into that. And the angels are fully supporting you. Look at that. Isn't that so gorgeous? You could also be meeting a um, a masculine. You could be meeting a masculine who is going to help you with your career also, okay? You could also be meeting a future partner. If you are single, you could also meet a partner through your career. Okay, is there anything else that wants to come through? I do see you guys want to travel. So if you guys are looking to travel, I do see that is definitely in the future. So if you're worried that you're not going to travel, I do see that working out for you. Right, I'm going to pull you some charms. What's really weird is when I was shuffling in the charms, I actually felt like a charm that, that was shaped like a microphone. I don't actually think I have a charm that is a microphone, but I was sensing that. So I definitely feel like for some of you guys, you really want to be singers or public speakers, that sort of thing. Anything to do with vocals. Could even be a YouTuber, could be a, um, yeah, someone who helps people out. So we have number four and number three, which is seven. You could also have the number four and number three as your specific number. We have the butterfly, which is all about transformation. It's coming out, being absolutely yourself, which is absolutely gorgeous. We have the, the uh, day of Friday, which is basically the day where everyone feels really good. They've got the, long, the weekend coming up. So you're going to feel really, really good about what's coming forward for you. We have the blue rose, which always re represents like a masculine to me. It represents a male. So you could be having a baby boy. You could be knowing somebody who's having a baby boy. Um, you could obviously if you're not wanting to get pregnant guys don't worry about it I'm talking about an actual like planned pregnancy um, and I also see a lot of you guys want to travel possibly to France with the Apple Town we also have handmade so if you guys want to start your own business this is definitely the sign to do so I'm going to pull your couple more charms out okay we also have the green flower and the purple flower the green is all about getting out in nature and purple is all about the feminine so you're definitely balancing your masculine and feminine out guys we have the angel wing, which is saying that your angels are here with you. We have the tortoise or turtle. I'm not sure. I think it's a tortoise. But basically, slow and steady wins the race. Things are going to be okay. You're going to be fine. Um, things may be slow, but they will pick up soon. And that could be an omen for you. We also have those two swans. So swans are definitely a sign for you. That's definitely a thing. And also with these two swans, swans are known to mate for life. And this is kind of reminding me like a swan as well with their, almost their wings. I know this is an angel wing, but it's kind of reminding me of swans. And you're possibly going to find your long-term partner who you've been waiting to to find, okay? And it's basically not worrying that you're going to go on the wrong path. I just got the message that you may think you're going on the wrong path or you're going to find a path that's the wrong one for you and it's going to be a mess. Guys, don't worry about it. 